right guys uh we're doing a bit of a different style of art today uh we're working with uh abstract art which is created a lot more based on feelings and emotions than it is on um working as i would do with my pens or with anything else so you kind of create as it just feels right now the piece of art that was created here it's available as part of buyback friday this would have been put up earlier we just I, me and my husband were both there last week uh buyback friday was part of cultural hustles last week last week yeah but like, part of black friday last week they did uh buyback friday so go have a look on instagram if it's something if, if you like the piece of work that was created obviously uh but it's not just my work up there, it's work of a lot of other artists up there uh, and it's all about artists supporting each other so go have a look at their work and if you like any of the work you see any of the work you see, not just mine, any of the artists up there go have a look, go support them, go support other artists and yeah, it's a brilliant thing that Culture Hustle set up they also brought artwork themselves which for a paint manufacturer is kind of cool and something that deserves mention and a shout out so thank you to Cultural for that um, it's really cool to see a uh, manufacturer to actually have gone out of the way to support us um, and I'm a really small time YouTuber uh, and Instagrammer but it's still I hope my words do get through with shouting out the thanks on that front so and as I said, this is about your feelings, but I can show you a bit of how to pick colours or anything else. I'm only going to talk a little bit about while I'm making this, but yeah, let's go. I'll see you on the flip side. I don't know what I wasn't saying. I, what I always say, I am still not 100% guys, but I will see you on the flip side. Oh, and yeah, do you like the Christmas decorations? If you do, leave me a comment. And we are trying to name the gnome, by the way, guys. Right, guys. So I'm working on a hardboard canvas, uh, first of all. Um, and as I said, a lot of working with abstract is all about feeling and getting those feelings down. Now, working out when it's going to be done yeah again you kind of work about what what you want to go with now, at the beginning of this i went with the idea of trying to use sponges to get some of the colors on this because i wanted to try and go for a certain effect it didn't work the way i wanted so i changed my method a bit a little bit in but you know what that's actually okay when you work with doing art you, you do kind of do things certain ways and sometimes they don't go the exact way you wanted uh, sometimes you decide to change the methods and you find things that work a little bit better for you. The sponges just didn't seem to work the way I actually wanted them to. So I'm going to like go past this a little bit uh, and get where we get a little bit deeper into it. Right, okay, so I've got out here one of my fan brushes and they are one of my favourite brushes if I was going to do anything like this. And I wanted to make a very nebula -like style effect with what I was doing. Um, so, and I have a particular love for this style of colours, the blues and purples and greens that are coming out. And when I'm trying to get anything down when it comes to emotions or feelings or anything like that, but I'm not drawing particular shapes, these are the colours that always call to me. Now, abstract art is something that I don't attempt very often because I find just painting like this a lot more difficult. I actually really enjoyed making this piece and by the end of it, it actually turned out really nice and I just let myself fall naturally into it and see where it went without actually pushing myself 
well, no, no, not without pushing myself, that's the wrong word, without actually having expectations on where it was going to end up. I'm a very precise, you know, this is where it's going to end up, this is what I want it to be, and I want my end goal kind of to be a person that I don't, I don't plan my colours, but I plan the style of art a lot more than this. This was a lot more open because it had to be and it turned out very interesting because of it so all i had planned was the fact i wanted a nebula style color scheme and this is where we went going got going so i'm gonna like go a bit further get the canvas covered and then i'll come back to you Right guys, so as you can see, when you get to the end of making a piece, well, when I got to the end, it was all about putting the colour schemes I wanted. As with any art, abstract art doesn't end until you decide it does. And adding colours on top of here, it was all about, about putting a little bit on the brush and then letting it brush in. And yet again, it was all about what felt right how this i wanted this to work and working with acrylic paints they don't stay wet as long as if you were working with oils which i will be trying working with at some point soon which could be interesting um but this was about working with something that showed a bit of emotion behind it and I hope you liked seeing how that kind of comes together now. A lot of people, including myself, have opinions when it comes to any form of abstract art or modern art. And some people love it, some people hate it. Some people like this kind of style, but don't like other styles. Now, I would love to know what your opinion is. And you know this isn't my normal style of art. It is definitively not my favourite style, yet I love making this. So, yeah, let me know what your opinion is. I was quite intrigued by the fact that I enjoyed making it. So, stay safe and well, guys, and leave me opinions in the comments. If you like this, give me a like, um, subscribe, and otherwise, other comments, everything, they're there, round, somewhere, other videos, somewhere, floating around in YouTube space, you'll find them. I'll see you next time. Stay safe and well, guys. Bye.